This is Natalia with People's Dispatch right now. I'm here outside the White House where tens of thousands of protesters have surrounded the White House with a massive miles long red line signaling to Biden that they will no longer stand for the unconditional support and supplying of Israeli genocide. This action today is part of an international day of action against genocide and for a ceasefire in Gaza. People around the world are taking to the streets in mass mobilizations, including in Ghana, in London, in Manchester, across the world, um, in Nepal, um, in Brazil, in Sao Paulo. Um, this is only part of an international global movement for Palestinian liberation. My message to Joe Biden is we are not voting for you. We do not support you. We do not support the genocide that you have allowed. Be assured the universities will not become peaceful. We will not be silent. We will not shut up. It is time for Palestine to be free. From D.C. to Palestine. From D.C. to Palestine. We are the red line. We are the red line. Biden, Biden, you can't hide. Biden, Biden, you can't hide. Gaza is a red line. Gaza is a red line. And I'm honored to stand here with you to say that we are the red line, that we will not be silent, that we will continue to stand up, that we will continue to take to the streets, that we will continue to exercise our rights everywhere in this country. We will not allow a genocide to be perpetrated in our name. Biden can stop the genocide that is currently happening in Gaza. He could stop it, but it goes against all his interests. And so we are here to say that we are the red line. We are the red line against genocide. But beyond that, we are the red line against the U.S. imperialist project. Today, we are going to draw the line between right and wrong because it is the people who decide what is right and wrong. We are the ones who decide what is right and wrong. And we knew in 1948 and we know in 2024 that the occupation of Palestine and the genocide of the Palestinian people executed by both the United States and Israel is wrong. Biden refuses to draw the line. So we are going to draw the line. Our message to Biden here today is that the ruling class are not the ones that set the red lines. We, we the honest people of this world, the working class people of this world are the ones that set the red lines. And we will continuously to come out and not give you a moment of peace in this time of genocide as you continue to orchestrate this war against our people, this unjust war. And we, the People's Court, will hold you accountable, will hold Bibi accountable, and we will hold every single tool person that has ever been associated with this genocide. My message to Joe Biden is that we will never forget your legacy, which is dead civilians in Palestine. My message to Joe Biden is end the genocide and stop funding war crimes. Right now, I'm here outside the White House where tens of thousands of people are gathered behind me to put the war criminals Joe Biden and Netanyahu on trial for the crime of genocide. We're here where um, activists, Palestinian youth organizers, anti-imperialist organizers, and people in the United States have gathered for a unique opportunity where the people are putting their leaders on trial for their unconditional support of Israeli genocide. So this is the second part in a massive day of action here on June 8th in front of the White House, where the people of the United States are saying that they no longer stand for their tax dollars to go to genocide in Gaza. This is a rare moment where people who come to a mass demonstration in Washington, D.C. have as a concluding event the testimony of international lawyers, human rights lawyers, um, legal scholars, and the direct testimony from people in Gaza themselves 
about war crimes, crimes against humanity, and crimes against peace. These are the three pillars of uh, contemporary modern uh, international law when it uh, affects genocide. So as you can see, we have amazing levels of expertise and testimony being provided. We have an audience that actually knows the word genocide. They know the word occupation. They know the word apartheid. They've been chanting it for many months. But this gives a greater sort of legal and historical definition to what these words mean. And that's why we thought this was such a significant way to end this red line around the White House by having a people's court of justice. So what's the red line? We say uh, the red line is genocide. Biden has crossed the red line. He said he would uh, hold Netanyahu accountable if, if Netanyahu went ahead with the invasion of Rafa. They went ahead with the invasion of Rafa. So we surrounded the White House with the red line. We said, we are the red line. We are the real obstacle to genocide. And then here we have this amazing event where we say, it's not just Netanyahu, but Netanyahu's patron. In this case, Joe Biden, who provides the weapons, the funding, and in many ways, the rationale for Netanyahu's crimes against the people of Palestine in Gaza.